speaking of, let's get to a viewer question from Thane. He wrote, you say that the election for governor is a year away, but aren't the primaries a short six months away in May? And then he continued, will Betsy Johnson be on the primary ballot as an independent? Will voters registered at, will only voters registered, I should say, as independents be able to vote for her? Thane, do you want a job? Those are great questions. So first off, yes, Oregon's primary election, you're right, is on May 17th, 2022, which if you're counting is just under six months away. So well done. And that is when voters will decide the nominees for governor in each of Oregon's political parties. Now, Oregon has closed primaries, which means only voters who are registered with a party can vote in that party's primary. So for example, if you're registered as a Democrat, you cannot vote in the Republican primary. But those aren't the only two options. Voters can also register with one of Oregon's six minor political parties. Those are the Constitution Party, Independent, Libertarian, Pacific Green, Progressive, and Working Family Parties. So again, if you register with one of these parties, you can only vote in their primary election. However, come the general, that's the one that's a year away, you can vote for any candidate you want of any party. Okay, so now to Thane's question, another great question about Betsy Johnson. Will she be on the ballot in the independent primary? The answer is no. Johnson is technically running as unaffiliated, not as independent. Now, this has been kind of confusing because usually you can use those words unaffiliated and independent interchangeably. But in this case, Johnson is not aligning herself with any political party. So that means she will not be part of any primary in May. However, she will be on the ballot in the general election, which is almost a year away on November 8th, 2022. So mark your calendars if you're extremely type A like me.